Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be reviewing the Marquis 4 from Harley Benton. Let's check it out. This is the Marquis 4 from Harley Benton. These are very odd bases, and they came around at a very strange time for Harley Benton, as Harley Benton just released the JJ and JP models with roasted maple necks and ash bodies that are uh, about at the same price point as these bases here. So those new models are making this Marquis a pretty hard sell, and let me tell you why. First and foremost, let's talk materials. We have a Sunkai body with a flame maple top here. Now, Sunkai is generally a cheaper wood where the JJ and JP models have the ash body. Yes, we have a Sunkai body with a flame maple top finished in this uh, cherry sunburst kind of deal or tobacco sunburst. Honestly, I think the finish is beautiful. However, what is not beautiful, and you're probably gonna agree with me here, the body shape. It looks like it was inspired by Gumby. What the heck is this? Uh, it sort of reminds me of some Merlot designs, but the Merlots are a lot more rounded and more beautiful looking, where this just looks weird. Now, the vibe that they're going for here is actually a Spectre vibe because of the position of the P&J pickups. They are farther back and much closer together, as well as this high mass bridge here, which at a glance kind of looks like the Spectre bridge. However, I gotta say that this bridge lacks a lot of the functionality versus a normal bridge, and we'll talk more about that in a second. For the neck, we have a five-piece maple and paduk neck with a uh, amaranth fingerboard. This is a 24 fret, 34 inch scale base. I believe the five strings are 35 inch scale, but this is the four string model. And we have a 40 millimeter nut width as well. Moving up to the headstock, we have a black painted headstock facing with four die cast tuners, a Harley Benton logo. And we have our truss rod adjustment covered by a small plate up at the headstock. I really wish it was either at the heel of the neck, or even better, a truss rod wheel like what we see in the JP and JJ models. The electronics here are a split P and a single coil J with closed housings here. I believe these are GNB pickups and these are paired to a GNB two band preamp with a bass and treble boost and cut. Well, I believe we have 12 decibels of boost or cut. Now let's go ahead and turn this bass around. Around back, we see the back of this weird body. The finish is rather dark, so you don't get much of the grain, though from what I can tell, the Sunkai grain isn't necessarily the prettiest. We also have a large control cavity, our battery door, and a five screw neck attachment here. You also see the back of this five piece neck, which doesn't look bad. And then moving up, we can see the back of these tuners as well, and the tilted back headstock. And how much does the Harley Benton Marquis weigh? This particular example comes in at eight pounds on the dot, which is relatively lightweight. Though that lightweight can be explained by the relatively lightweight and inexpensive materials that are used here, especially for the body. And how much does the Harley Benton Marquis cost? Currently in July of 2022, these bases are listed for $190, which is $1 more than the JJ55 OP, which also features a two band preamp. I have to say, it's kind of strange to have such strong competition within a brand in the sub $200 price point. That is very strange, but I guess Harley Benton likes to beat themselves up because this definitely cannot compare to those JJ and JP models. But we are going to give this bass a fair shake and we are going to play it as well. Let's get to that. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and push that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Yeah, so very interesting tone that we have here with this PJ setup slammed over towards the bridge. Because of the way this neck is set up, everything is kind of jammed towards the bridge and gives us that almost spectery sound. What we have are two volume controls, as well as a bass and treble boost and cut. And what you've heard was both volumes up all the way and the preamp centered. 
Now let's start by soloing the neck pickup here, and we'll play with this preamp a little bit, and we'll move on to the bridge pickup. So here is the neck pickup with the preamp centered. getting that traditional P-type tone out of this pickup. I think these are ceramic pickups as well, so we are going to get a more ceramic-y tone versus a more vintage El Nico sound. Uh, but yeah, this is a interesting pickup here. That was with the preamp centered. Let's go ahead and cut both controls now. preamp cut it sounds pretty good honestly it's not a typical p bass tone but because of the pickup as well as where it's located you're really not going to get that typical tone now let's take whatever control this is treble let's take the treble up to center leaving the bass at full cut The treble centered and the bass at full cut this sounds pretty like nice and aggressive great rock tone here though i would say that this is probably not the most flexible instrument in terms of covering other genres but this can actually get quite a solid rock tone that being said the neck profile and fretwork is also very nice i am actually surprised by that not bad now let's take the treble up all the way gonna get a little bit of hiss there it is what it is, and we have the bass at full cut still. Let's take that back down to full cut and bring our bass up to center now. Next here is the bass control up all the way. Ooh, that is a bit boomy and heavy handed. Here's the bass at around 50%. Okay, let's bring that down to center and center our treble control as well. And then let's pan over, well actually let's turn down the P pickup because it's two volume controls and turn up our single coil J pickup. This is a single coil pickup. So in a noisy electrical environment, you are going to be getting some 60 cycle hum. It is what it is. I wish there was a hum canceling pickup here, but for 190 bucks, I understand why they didn't. Now, here's the J pickup with the preamp centered. Oh, very interesting tone there. 
The pickup is very close to the bridge, so you're gonna be getting a very like nasally tone. It sounds pretty good out of this pickup. A very modern tone reminds me of my Spectre bridge pickup, honestly. Next, here's the preamp at full cut. <laughs> and now here is the treble at center with the bass at full cut. And here's the treble up all the way. I think that sounds a bit too tinny and harsh. Let's go ahead and bring that back down to full cut and bring our bass up to center. So treble is at full cut, bass is centered. And then here's the bass at about a 50% boost. Next, with the bass still at 50% boost, I'm just gonna center the treble. Here's what that sounds like. Let's move on to having both pickups engaged. The bridge pickup and the neck pickup are both at 100%, and here is our preamp centered. Next, let's cut the preamp once more. Next, let's take the treble up to center, leaving the bass cut. And here's the treble up, all the way. Next, I'll take the treble all the way down, and here is the bass at center. And okay, I'm not even gonna bother boosting that. Here's everything at center one more time. Now one really nice tone that we can get out of this is when we have both pickups engaged and just back off of the bridge pickup a little bit. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Now, let's go ahead and play this with a pick a little bit. Here's the current configuration with both pickups engaged, but the bridge pickup backed off slightly. Now let's uh, engage both pickups fully. Yeah. 
And here is just the P pickup soloed with a pick. <laughs> Pickup still engaged. Let's see how she slaps. <laughs> and let's engage both pickups now. Let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. So here are my final thoughts on the Harley Benton Marquis. Overall, it's strange and okay, but it's not great. Here's why. The bridge is a terrible design. This is a Sung Kai bridge, however, this is not a good Sung Kai bridge. I am a fan of their bridges in general, but this one gives you no intonation adjustment unless you remove the strings. There's no screw to adjust the saddle. Instead, it just is a locking saddle where you kind of set it and then lock it in place. I really don't like this design and I think overall it's kind of just a meh bridge. In regards to the electronics, I think they're okay as well. I think this bass tonally is going for a Spectre vibe and overall it achieves it. However, it is still a bit on the noisy side with this single coil pickup in the bridge position. Again, because it's $190, I totally understand why they're using a single coil instead of a split coil. However, a fresh set of pickups in here would go a long way with this bass. That being said, would you want to do it given the shape? I'm personally all good. I think that the shape is really ugly. I just think this is a ugly bass. It's, it's, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Totally, I think it's okay and very well suited for rock, uh, and it's a very aggressive tone. The P pickup sounds nice, though it's not your traditional P, and the J pickup is a little on the thin side due to its placement so close to the bridge. But overall, tonally, I think this is an okay bass. Playability-wise, I think it's great, though. We have a very nice neck here that is easy to navigate, a great profile, and tons of accessibility for our upper frets. So what am I going to rate? The Harley Benton Marquis 4. Yeah! I'm gonna rate this base. A reluctant three claws out of five. It's $190, and for that price, I think you're getting quite the average value. You are sacrificing in the looks department for sure, as well as this bridge, which is just utter crap in my opinion. The electronics are okay, and the playability itself is actually really nice, and I'm impressed with how well this neck plays. So overall, there's some give and take here. Some things are better than others, but overall, I'd call this a average slash decent base for the $190 plus shipping price point. 
Just like what I say with all my other Harley Benton reviews, I highly recommend purchasing more than one instrument to save on shipping. But if you were buying some basses from Toman, would I recommend adding one of these to your order? It's up to you. Given the pricing, I'd say that, you know, it's, it's decent, but I would pick up the JJ and JP models over one of these, just in my opinion. Take that for what you will though, let me know what you think about the Harley Benton Marquis IV down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Harley Benton Marquis IV. And as always, until we groove again.